I am walking home right now and I'm hiding under the shade by the lake because it is so hot outside. It's almost 100 and I'm rocking these black jeans that really just... This wasn't supposed to be delivered for a few days, but I saw the DHL truck pass by when I was at work, and I was like, oh, I wonder, I wonder if that has my package. And then a few minutes later, I got a text that the order was delivered, so crazy stuff. But I want to try this on. I don't know if it's going to fit. I wasn't really sure what size to get, so we shall see. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I don't like spending a lot of money, so... This is a good sign. Ce n'est pas que vous ayez l'air si distingué. Sans d'autres ont plus d'attrait, plus d'âme, plus d'aplomb. Votre timbre de voix n'est ni doux ni discret. Vous crissez aux aigus de sinistre façon triste bilan. I'm currently just kind of chilling out. I'm waiting to meet with my college advisor because I'm going through college orientation today. And it's just in my room, which is kind of, kind of funny. It really doesn't feel like real just because I've been sitting on Zoom. It's, I don't know. I'm just excited for in-person things because I think that'll, that'll actually make it real. It just feels so abstract. But yeah. Gotta continue on. Hopefully I get some good classes. I'm now registered for classes. I'm getting a call. I don't know who that's from, but I'm fully registered for my classes for my first semester as a freshman. I'm actually really excited by my schedule. And incidentally, I don't have any classes on Friday, which is really nice. And only one class on Thursday, so not too bad. leftover pasta, greens, salmon, threw in some baked beans, and nutritional yeast. Yeah, it's really good. We're pretty low on produce right now, so I think I'm actually going to go to the farmer's market with my mom and shop around for some more, which is fun. It's also been very rainy today though, so a little glummer. Hopefully the weather holds up. this little cute little thing to pour <laughs> just to pour the milk in and I like using a blend of almond milk and oat milk I think it just tastes the best in my opinion and there we go she's a beauty Though, ooh, okay, that's really good. <laughs> I'm kinda cold. <laughs> it's not even that cold today. I kind of have a bad habit of just like slurping things down, just consuming them super quickly. So I'm trying to be extra intentional about taking my time with this.
got a call earlier and it turns out that my film camera photos are ready to be picked up. So I was actually going to call my photo lab today and like just check in and see how they were doing but yeah that's super exciting. I've been waiting for a little while and yeah so I think I'm going to walk over there. The weather apparently there's no more rain but it does look kind of gloomy. In fact I am wearing pants for the first time in a little while. But yeah, I think I'm going to walk over there, if I have time, and see them. Can you tell they like green? I'm hoping for day. I think it's actually warmer outside than it is inside, so. Walk away, but give me, give me one more chance to tell you how I feel and how I see through all the pain that you have been through. Don't say you're sorry, cause I don't blame you. Now it's time, and my mom and I are going to go to the farmer's market. Neither of us have ever been to this one, so don't really know what to expect in terms of robustness. Unfortunately, the farmer's markets here just aren't as abundant as they are in, like, when we used to live in California, places like that. But it's still fun. I love grocery shopping. I just like shopping for food. There's something like that. Foods, I need to tie my shoe. Oh, I feel like my mom might say I'm dressed a little optimistically due to the weather. And you know, I can't say I disagree, but I, I got nothing. So I was watching an Erin Rutherford video the other day and she was making matcha soda, the matcha and sparkling water. And I have no idea how that would taste, so I'm gonna try it out. This is temporary Maybe we'll last to January The lost control when you call me, baby Go down the road, you know you're coming with me But I'll chase rainy days Oh, I love okay. the... Okay, here goes. I like how much bigger the straw is, but... <laughs> That's kind of really good! Ooh, I like it. I think it looks pretty. Alright, hi! So I thought we could chill 
and go through a few of the film photos that I got developed. I think it's super exciting looking at these photos and it's such a special treat. I totally get why film is becoming more and more popular. So just to start out, I have a 35mm film camera, the Nikon One Touch 200. I just got this off of eBay. I looked up reviews, but really I just wanted a film camera that had autofocus, auto exposure, just so I didn't have to think too much about it. Though I do want to get into more like SLR photography, but that's like later. I think a point and shoot film camera is a great option for, for people that literally just want to point and shoot and just not to think too hard about the photos. So yeah. So this is my second role that I've ever gotten developed. And this time around I really kind of wanted to focus on the city, or not too much, but so I took quite a bit more of like landscape shots rather than like just getting people. So I like this one at the lake. It just kind of, I feel like this is very summery because it's, it just always looks like this, you know? This photo honestly feels like it could be from any time, which I love. Then we got some of my dad and my grandma talking, and then my brother walking along. Again, this is the same day, and I just like how timeless they look, you know? Backyard. <laughs> and then we got me in the backyard. I like getting photos of myself on film, but it's always so hard because I don't like a lot of the photos that people take of me. Just a reflection of myself, not of not of their photography skills. So I feel like it's always such a gamble asking people to take the film photos of me, but I like them. I like these few of my dad reading, like the kind of the translucentness of the paper in this one. And then the one with Cosmo, our cat, <laughs> which is funny, of the lake. This one you can see the skyline of Minneapolis. And this film camera it doesn't zoom, so it's kind of a wide angle. So unfortunately I wasn't able to zoom in. I would have liked to be able to get more of the skyline to look a little bigger, but I still like I still like how it looks. And then there's always people like playing volleyball by the lake, so I got that. And then one of these day or a day like a few weeks ago, we got frozen yogurt with my family and we rode our bikes and the sunset was so pretty. I just had to we had to pull over and stop. Yeah, again, very timeless and nostalgic. And I actually did get one of myself. It looks a little bit frightening. I actually don't hate the picture, but I have red eyes. It's very intense. Though I feel like a lot of pictures of me when I smile are kind of intense. And then the last photo on the roll, I knew, I knew was the last one. So I asked my little brother to take it of just, just around a family dinner family meal outside, which is a big tradition for us in the summer, so I felt like it was kind of fitting. Those are a few of the highlights, and it's so exciting looking through them. The film that I use, or I used for this role at least, was Fuji Superia Extra ISO of 400. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, and I think it's pretty versatile. The ISO 400 means that you like, can use it in lower light situations. But I next want to try out Kodak Gold because I've I've seen good things about that and that looks really poppy and vibrant, you know. So you can't really tell, but it's no prettier or brighter outside than it was earlier. But it's not too cold. It's like 75. So I think I'm gonna join the rest of my family at the pool. I can finally wear the swimsuit I got a few days ago. I don't know how much swimming I'm actually going to do, but I might just chill, crochet, we'll see. <laughs>
back from the little ice cream errand with my family. It's for the book club, so we finish some books and then we go get ice cream. It's a lot of fun, of course. And for the rest of the night, I think I might, I mean, I might just watch a movie and go to bed. We'll see. I have work tomorrow. But I wanted to uh, <laughs> bid you adieu and say thanks for sticking around. These were obviously super chill days and just low-key, nothing much happened. But it's just kind of about enjoying that, that sweetness of summer. So I hope wherever you are, you're able to kind of romanticize those little moments and enjoy yourself. So thank you so much for sticking around and until next time. Bye.